Hey folks, Doc here, and this is going to be my Form Spring answers for the week ending Sunday, February 13th, 2011. So let's get this going. I think I got 19 questions here or something. Okay, let's see what they are. Rainbow Math DJG asks, Have you ever eaten anything so nasty you just had to try it again? Well, the answer to that is no. Because you see, whenever I eat something nasty, like something really freaking nasty and disgusting, I basically go into this mode, or this mood, or something, where I can't eat anything for a while. I just, my whole digestive or whatever system shuts down, and it's like, no, I'm not eating anything. Which is why, if I'm gonna, like, you know, get a bite of rancid food in a meal, I would much rather get it at the end than at the beginning. Because if I get it at the beginning, then I'm not gonna be eating the rest of that meal, no matter how good it is. So yeah, I guess the answer to that question is no, I've never eaten anything so nasty that I just had to try it again. So yeah. Next question, an anonymous viewer asks, Hi, person I don't know. Um, okay. Hello back at ya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. The Nards of Doom asks, Hey Doc, was there ever something you always really wanted to get, but could not get it for any reason? Well, hmm, uh, jeez. Well, back in the old days, yeah, back in the old days, I mean just about anything, but back in, like, the NES days, I had a complete collection of every issue of Nintendo Power up till I pretty much stopped caring about it. I don't remember when that was. And I always wanted to get my hands on a copy of the very first issue of Nintendo Power, which I believe the game that was on the cover of the first issue was Super Mario Bros. 2. I was never able to get a copy of that. Oh, well. Doesn't bother me to this day, though. Is there anything nowadays that I really wish I could get? <sighs> a significant other, I suppose, but no, that doesn't really count. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> Accelerus, and I apologize if I pronounce your name incorrectly, asks, Hey, Doc, how's your week been so far? Well, it's Sunday, the week is ending, and a new week's beginning tomorrow. I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. So, yeah, last week was... God, it was long. It just was one of those weeks that felt like it was, you know, a month long. God, I hate weeks like that. <sighs> oh, well. Moving right along, next question. D. Mac Arcana asks, So what do you do with a drunken sailor? Well, nowadays, I think you give him his own show on YouTube. That seems to be what you do with pretty much anyone nowadays, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, moving along, next question. Chibi UFO asks... Do you have any films you really don't like when everyone else seems to love them? I can think of three answers to that, and two of them may not count, because they may be movies where actually everyone just kind of really doesn't like them. The, those two would basically be Titanic and Avatar. I really hate those movies, but then again, it seems to be kind of the chic in thing to do to hate those, so nothing special about that. Another movie I can't freaking stand that everyone seemed to love was Moulin Rouge. Yep, the good old Red Windmill, and I really don't necessarily want to go into that because I don't like babbling on about things I don't like, <clears throat> and I really don't like making people angry. So, next question. An anonymous viewer asks, are you and Dr. Emmett Brown related? Well, not to my knowledge, and I really doubt it, because according to Back to the Future 3, Dr. Brown's family came from Germany, and as far as I know, don't have any family from Germany, because I think he said that the Von Brauns was what they were originally called, and they came over from Germany, and as far as I know, I'm French, Italian, English, Scottish, uh, maybe some Native American thrown in there for good measure, but no German, I don't think. And we can also include the fact that Dr. Emmett Brown is a fictional character, and despite what many people claim, I am not. So yeah, that's that. Another question by Accelerus. They ask, what is your favorite three Pokemon from each handheld game? Oh, dear. Wow, from each handheld game. God, God, does that include the pinball games and friggin' Pokemon Troze or whatever the heck that's called? Hmm, I hope not. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that question is worded with a slightly faulty manner. And I'm going to answer it as if they ask, what's my favorite three Pokemon from each generation? Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let me, let me go backwards. I don't know enough about 5th generation to have any favorite Pokemon from it, so we'll skip that one. 4th generation? Let's see, I like Magnezone, best of all. Magnezone is my favorite Pokemon of all. And... 
Oh, Lord. Oh, man. I just... I don't know. I'll get back to this one, perhaps. Dalith1234 asks... D J K F H S D colon F H G W colon E F H colon S A D A S D W F F G B D K L question mark. I couldn't agree more. Okay, Andy Man nine 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 asks or states, I guess. I got your pocket, but I think it came untied. <sighs> okay, I think that's an in joke. I think that's a reference to something I said a while ago, and unfortunately no longer makes sense to me. If I'd actually looked at that when he actually said it, it might have made sense, but at the moment it doesn't. Sorry, Andy. Coming up next, Rainbow Math DJG asks, What religion are you? Okay, I'm not going to be answering that. I never discuss religion online, so we're just going to fly right past that one. Chibi UFO again asks, Is there something that you dislike when you are having a debate with somebody? For example, they use a straw man argument or sort cheap shots, stuff like that. Well, I don't really get into debates with people, so I can't really answer that very fairly. Although I'm extremely well versed in logical fallacies, and if any time somebody uses a logical fallacy in an argument, I'll be very quick to point it out to them. And if they just turn around and say, oh yeah, well, fuck you as well, then it makes me think a lot less of them. So sorry I couldn't answer that better. Next question, also from Chibi UFO, asks, What is, in your opinion, the video game based off a food or drink franchise, Burger King, McDonald's, Mr. Pibb, is the best? Or if one hasn't been made for the particular brand, what would you be if you were in charge of creating it? Oh, and you're amazing. Well, I'm really not, but thanks anyway. Um, I actually have a solid answer for this. Back on the NES, there was a game called McKids, or possibly MC Kids, which was a platformer for the NES, very similar to Super Mario 3, and that was, in my opinion, a really bloody spectacular game. I know that the AVGN ragged on it, but I personally think that it was one of his worst videos of all time, because he really was unfair to the game, and he really didn't give it a chance, and it basically just showed that he isn't good at video games. Okay, moving past that, but yeah, it's a really good game. It's a solid platformer, and it's a lot of fun. So that's my answer, McKids. I never got a chance to play Sneak King or any of the other games like that. I never played any other McDonald's games. Oh, well. Okay, next question is by Sentimental B. They ask, So, Doc, I heard you had to go to the emergency room. What happened? I hope you're okay. Well, thank you for your concern, Sentimental B, and I am fine. I was having some sort of heart... I can't talk. That's not why I went to the hospital. No, I was having some sort of heart palpitations. Kind of like a little fluttering in my chest, which happens to pretty much everyone every so often. But I was getting it really bad, and like there was like a whole bunch of them, and they were going on for several minutes. Which had never happened to me before, so I decided to go to the hospital. By the time I got there, they completely calmed down. They drew some blood, they looked at my heart, and they did all that nonsense and said, Hey, you're fine, you know? This could have been caused by a lot of different things, but all of the bad things that could have caused it don't seem to be the case. You seem to be perfectly healthy, so go home. So yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so moving right along. The Fifth Snow asks... Gurren Gura, Something I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. Eureka... Gurren Lagan? Gurren Lagan? Yeah. I don't know much about this anime, so... Whatever. Some anime... Eureka 7, Outlaw Star, from best to worst rate them. I've never watched any of them. I don't think they're actually my types of anime, to be honest. Just from the names, they don't sound like they're about cute things at all. They sound like they're about scary things. Okay. An anonymous user asks, Bacon. Okay. Yes, bacon is delicious. Thank you for saying that. Moving right along, an anonymous user asks, I have a crush on you, but can't... Oh, for the love of God, it's spam. I hope that this isn't a legitimate user asking a silly question anonymously, because boom, you are now blocked. Blah, 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 you're blocked. Son of a... Yeah. Just two questions left. Jack's Track Rat asks, Do you look to the future with hope and optimism? Yes, I do. The future will be better tomorrow. And last but certainly least, Tetris Chemist asks, Is there anything that you think can't possibly match with Guile's theme? Absolutely not, because it has been proven by 
internet meme scientists that Guile's theme goes with everything. So that's it for this week of Formspring Questions. Feel free to ask me as many questions as you want, and I'll answer them all once a week on Sundays. You can click on the link below the video, to the right of the video, or maybe I'll make an annotation link. Who knows? I don't know. But just feel free to ask me anything. Formspring.me slash DocSigma, and I'll answer your questions. And I just screwed myself there, didn't I? Yep, I sure did. Oh well. Try again. <laughs> oh well. I'll see you next week, folks. Thanks for watching, and keep your questions coming. Cheers!